So when I was at school, I played in brass bands, wind bands, jazz bands, orchestras. And I got a sense that I wanted to do it for real. And in Scotland, at that time, the only real option was to go to the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, or the Conservatoire, as it's known now. And I had a real sense of, kind of, I knew the people that were teaching there. I knew I wanted to go there. I knew about the Royal Northern uh, College in Manchester. I knew, obviously, about the London colleges as well. But I really wanted to study in Scotland. I didn't come from a family who had a musical background. You know, there was no orchestral musicians in my family nobody who had followed that kind of path. So it was quite a um, potentially intimidating place, but, but the people there were brilliant, the teachers were fantastic, the atmosphere was great, and the fact I'd been a junior student made it much easier to go along. Deacon Blue was one of the things I was doing while I was a student, and it was just, it was great, because we were, we were very serious about what we were doing, and that's what really drew me to Ricky Ross, the lead singer. When Deacon Blue split up, I was only 27. I was young and didn't really know quite know what I, what I wanted to do. I applied for a job, and basically I had never applied for a job before, and I applied for a job as a presenter for a programme on, on Scottish television. And I was so well prepared for that, um, and I couldn't believe that the other people that I'd applied for it weren't prepared, and I, I got the gig. And then um, I, that you know, kind of went on from there. But I've been really, really lucky, because I've been able to carry on as a musician. I've been able to kind of you know, have this broadcast career alongside that. And, uh, and I'm very lucky that I'm able to do things that I love doing. I think the discipline you get, the, the understanding you get as a, as a musician, and, and it's, it, particularly a classical musician, because you know, you know, having the discipline to play in a, an ensemble, whether it's a symphony orchestra or a brass band or a wind band, is, is an, an extraordinary thing. But, you know, when you're growing up, going through school, getting that discipline of, of, of you know, reading the music, looking up, listening to other players, getting a sense of what's going on, knowing that you have to be sympathetic to other people within, within your section, within the orchestra, within the band. It's a hugely important thing. And I, I've used that again and again and again in everything I do. The experience of being an orchestral musician or, or a classical musician is something that I carry with me and it's, it's hugely important. And I, use it, I still use it every day on, on, on whatever I'm doing.